Alright, what's up you guys? Sick Pete 420 and today is the Anision rant. And uh, and I've been wanting to do this for some time now because he's just a cunt who really, really like needs a slap in the face and more than that, but I can't really say that because it's YouTube and I'll probably get in trouble. But yeah, so let's get into this anyway. So like for the people that don't know, Anision's like a vlogger, YouTuber, whatever the fuck you want to call it, who's written a book or two and made some songs, and he makes fucking weird shit, like weird ass content. Like there's this video of him eating dirt. And because I'm such a desperate loser, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Like, what the fuck, man? He's an absolute retard. So anyway, like, I've had quite a few people say to me about making a video on him, and considering I kind of hate his guts, and I know hate's a strong word, but I fucking do, it's sort of like, yeah, I decided, why not? Why not rip into this motherfucker? Because he deserves it. He thinks he's a big man, all because he was in fucking, he did basic training and shit, and he acts like he's fucking untouchable, so why not fucking lay into him a bit? I really don't understand the way that he is and that. And like, he claims to have suffered with depression and tried to commit suicide or some shit. And like, maybe that's true. But if it is, that just makes him even more ignorant with the way that he talks about self-harm and suicide and mental, mentally ill people and that. I mean, there's a video, right? There's a video where... A fan like writes to him like a 17 year old fan saying how he's got an abusive mum how he's been hospitalized three times for like suicidal thoughts and stuff and guess what this motherfucker says guess what he says he says that the kid can't blame it on anyone but herself he said it basically says that the kids like suicide attempts and the kid being suicidal is his own fault not anyone else's now I'm pretty sure if someone's like disrespecting you, treating you like shit, especially if it's your mother and that, that's going to get you down. That's going to have a knock-on effect to your mental health and that. But fucking Anision, nah. Nah, nah, man. Nah, man. Anision's like, oh no, you can't blame that on anybody but yourself, motherfucker. And that. And you'll see that clip right about now. Hi Onision, how can I cope with a verbally and emotionally abusive mother? I'm 17, I've been hospitalized twice because of suicidal thoughts, depression caused by the words my mother would say to me. First of all, I don't think you can really blame your suicidal thoughts slash depression on anyone but yourself. Alright, by now you should sort of see what I'm getting at here and that. And like, this video is going to be more about like the suicide and self-harm side of things, cause like, and the mental side of things, because... I suffer from quite a few mental illnesses myself, I'll happily admit that, but what I mean is this is just fucked up how someone can talk like this, especially when they claim that they have suffered from shit like it, and that, and like, he treats it almost as if it's passing phase now, he's like fucking sort yourself out and shit, get past it and that, some people, they get depression and they never get out of it, they got it till the rest of their life and that, but the way that he speaks about it is if it's like a fucking common cold, that like it will eventually just go and that. I swear down. And that like, I'd love to meet this dude. Like, oh my days. Just 10 minutes in a room with him. No cameras, no people to witness. Guarantee you, I'd be the only one that comes fucking out of that room. I swear down. But anyway. Bullet in my head. But the difference between cutting and putting a bullet in your head is the bullet in your head actually permanently ends your pain. Whereas cutting, what the hell? You solve nothing and you just create more problems. This will make my pain go away. Ow. So yeah, this onion head looking prick, fucking, he don't even stop there with the mocking people that self harm and shit. He went on in another video to try saying that self harmers don't deserve a place in society and that they need to be sectioned and shit. Like, for fuck's sake, man. Sectioning will not always help. Not only that, you do realise that you self-harm. You take yourself to a doctor and say, yeah, I need to be sectioned. I'm a danger to myself. You know, nine times out of ten, they will turn you away. Maybe not in your country. I don't know about the US. I don't live over there. But here in the UK, most of the time, they will turn you away. And they'll say, oh, well, you've got to get on with it sort of thing. Which is pretty fucked up in my eyes, yeah. 
but at the same time that you shouldn't be telling people to go there because they self-harm if they feel they're that much of a danger then yeah maybe they should but you shouldn't be telling them they don't and you especially shouldn't be telling them that they deserve no place in this fucking society man you are fucked up you need to get your brain checked and if that's the way that you think that it's acceptable to speak to people you really don't deserve to be in society you don't deserve to be in a fucking youtube community with the way that you're being man Fuck. what cutters say saying to yourself every night this will be the last time if you've said it's the last time more than once you need to fucking institutionalize yourself because you're obviously a danger to your own fucking self lock your motherfucking ass up and don't come out till you're fucking sane because when you're a danger to someone in society including yourself you don't belong in fucking society our society thrives off order and abiding by certain rules when you're repeatedly physically harming a member of that society you need to be fucking removed until you're safe to be around other people and yourself. Straight jacket, padded cell, fucking go. After four weeks of no cutting, I broke my streak tonight. Don't fucking tell the internet, tell a fucking therapist. I would say, what are you, stupid? But I already know you are because you fucking cut yourself. The act of repeatedly slicing open your own skin, that's the behavior of someone who needs a fucking head doctor. My scars are fading and I feel lost without them. Why the fuck are you posting this to Tumblr? Go to a fucking therapist. I mean, like, wow, fucking wow. Like, Seriously, even goes to a point, like, I'll, I'll show you another video in a second, but I mean, it even goes to a point of saying, as you saw, if fucking anyone that self-harms is stupid. And yeah, I know that's a broad view by quite a lot of people, but I mean, come on, man. Like, you can call people stupid for that, but I mean, that's just being fucking tight as fuck. Why the fuck are you going to say shit that you know is going to aggravate people instead of trying to fucking help them, man? Like, seriously, what is your problem? Just fucking do yourself in the arse. You made a fucking video saying how you like your fucking butthole fingers. Why don't you just fucking sit back and do that and fucking quit YouTube? Because at the minute, all you're doing is just pissing loads of people off, man. Pathetic. Notice it's white skin, because mostly only white people are this fucking dumb. I have a problem and I don't know how to solve it. I know. I'm gonna cut little lines in my skin, because that makes sense. Oh, hey, it appears to be another white girl. Because white girls struggle the most out of everyone in society. Oh, look, they're so happy. What the? I don't, what? Couple cutters? You destroyed a perfect good body for what? Because you're self-centered. All you do is think about yourself and not people who have real problems. You inconsiderate white people. Have you noticed that the mass majority of cutters are white people? White people! Jesus. Hey, this person gets it. They realize it's selfish, bro. Seriously, man. And the thing that makes it even worse is not just that he's making the fun out of self-harmers and people that's genuinely got mental illnesses. It's not just the fact that he's taking the piss and mocking them and giving them shit as well. He then goes on, he makes another video, right, where he pretends that he's all suicidal and that he's going to take his life because he only sold three copies of his motherfucking book, in which case he makes a five to ten minute long video in which he continuously plugs his freaking ass, shitty ass book fucking plugs a load of songs that he helped produce or some shit and then sits in an electric car and then complains because you can't kill yourself with an electric car but what the fuck this dude is not right he's not right in the head he's not right in the heart i i honestly think he hasn't got a soul anymore his soul is just reduced to a pile of dog shit literally just a big pile of freshly made stinking dog shit that's all he's got in place of his fucking soul, man. I mean, here's the video. You check it out. You decide for yourself, man. So this is my suicide video. Um, I've been having a lot of problems as of late. My uh, book didn't sell well. This is why I hate you. So I'm going to kill myself because nobody cares about what I have to say. Let's do this. Before I kill myself, I want to read you guys some parts of my book so you can know what you were missing. Goodbye, assholes. Dying is so boring. I want to die faster. <sighs> While we wait, I guess we can listen to another song I helped make. That's death coming out. see what I mean like seriously see what I mean and 
this isn't even the worst part. Like, this is sort of, I'm just building up. I'm sort of just getting myself ready for the main bit that's really pissing me off. Because at the minute, it's getting to me, man. This is getting to me, right? Basically, like, he made a video. He deleted it, mind you. He deleted it eventually, but I've managed to find it. People have re-uploaded it to YouTube to show what a piece of shit he is. And I've managed to secure it to put into this video. Basically, one of his exes, Shiloh, or Shyla, something like that. Anyway, she had a proper mental break. Like, I mean shit, like, she forgot her own fucking name, forgot memory, a lot and that. And she's laid there, like, I want to make a rainbow. Not responding, just saying that over and over again. And like any normal person would call an ambulance or take him to hospital and that. But what the fuck does this dude do? He fucking whips out his camera like, oh, I'm just going to record this. And then he fucking uploads it to YouTube and that. And you think I'm bullshitting? Maybe some of you think that I'm bullshitting. Maybe some of you believe me. You, think that you said you want to make a rainbow? Yeah. Why aren't you looking at the camera? man and this shit it don't stop there it don't stop there it even gets even worse she ends up she gets to a point where right her hands are fucking shaking like uncontrollable she's still laid there that but she started responding to him that and he's like what are you shaking and she's like i'm not and he's like give me your hands and that and she's like i am and he's like give me your hands and she's getting more and more like distressed like i am and that, and you can see she's having some sort of fit, or some sort of seizure or something. The way that she's shaking her hands and shit, and that, and not even realizing that she's not even moving her hands, sort of thing, and that. And he's still just, he's still just filming her. Like, seriously, man, this dude, he, he's fucking, he's either not right in the head, or man, he's he's just stone cold. Because for someone to upload that to YouTube, just for views. Like, that's pretty fucked up. And there's people in the vid in that actual video saying that it's all staged and shit. I honestly don't reckon that it is. And even if it is, that makes him even more of a piece of shit. Because why the fuck would you stage something like that just for YouTube views? I mean, it's bad enough putting a video like that that's genuine up for YouTube views and that. But, like, yeah, it's fucking disgusting, man. How someone like this can have 1.8 million subscribers on YouTube when they're doing shit like this is fucking ridiculous. I want to make a rainbow. Shiloh, can you look at me? Please? Why are you shaking your hand? I'm not. Give it to me. Give me your hand. I am. Give me your hand. I am. Hi. Now, like a short while after that video, that, um, like the same day, but that evening and that, she ends up coming round that, and she's got like no memory whatsoever, right? And she's she's obviously assumed that he's kidnapped her or whatever, and that, and she you see her literally sat in the corner crying, screaming, "Please don't hurt me and shit." And what does this motherfucker do? This motherfucker gets on his computer and like, look, YouTube, YouTube, you're on YouTube. And shit, like trying to show a YouTube and that, and it's like, dude, she needs proper medical help, not you fucking sitting there, like, oh look, you're on YouTube. Let me just show you this YouTube video. She's fucking there, terrified, like shaking, screaming, fucking terrified. To me, it reminds me of like when you see like a kid that's lost, don't know where their parents are or anything. She's proper distraught, proper scared, like for her life, man. It's, it's fucking wrong. I mean, it's disgusting to even see videos like this up on YouTube. But especially when it's someone like Anision, who's got so many subscribers and that. Like, 
he should know better man like what's acceptable on YouTube and what's not but clearly not Look at this. Hey, hey, calm down. You're, you're in my house, okay? Why? No, no, no. This, it's okay. It's okay. Look, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. No, no, no. I'll show you. Look, look. Look. I'll show you, okay? No, no, no. Oh, I'm not going to touch you. Look, look. Please don't hurt me. Look, okay. Please don't hurt me. I I'm going to YouTube. Watch. Okay, this is you. One last thing I really want to talk about, I really want to discuss about this piece of shit, right? Is recently, like in June of this year, right? There's a YouTuber singer called Christina Grimmie, and that, and like some of you may have heard about her, some of you may not have, but she basically she went to a fan meet, and that, if I remember rightly, it was after a concert, and that, to like do autograph signings and generally just mingle with like her fans get to know and speak to them and shit and that and while she was there she got shot and like 24 hours later i think it was she was pronounced dead and now all of her fans and that who mostly are like teenage girls and shit make videos twitter youtube facebook a lot just like showing their appreciation that say now they're gonna miss their idol and that someone who they've looked up to and idolized and shit and what does this motherfucker do he puts out tweets saying shit like you do it for the retweets if you cared you would report every death but no just famous people fame does not make a death any more tragic and then there's also another one where he says christina gets shot and you will pray for her if your God cared, she would not have been shot. You prayed, she died, wake up. And that. Bear in mind, this is like less than 24 hours after she's died. Like, literally, these kids are fucking distraught. They've just lost their idol sort of thing. Like and he's fucking basically spitting in their faces. It's fucking disgusting. It's absolutely wrong. But nope, this is Anision, he don't give a shit about that, because he's got some fans that will follow him till the fucking end. And that, and it's just fucking disgusting how anyone can do this and think that it's acceptable to disrespect someone, especially when they're dead. And that, I mean seriously, it's a fucking wrong. And that, this dude, why he's still on YouTube, I have no fucking idea. No clue whatsoever. But yeah, that's it for this video anyway, nah. Uh Leave a like if you like it. Um, leave a comment. Let me know if you like this video. Like, if you like, if you like me doing these commentary videos, and I may get around to doing some more. Um, depending on how it is, I may end up making a second one on Nice Young because there's so much shit I've talked about. Because he's he's just fucked up so many levels. Like the amount of videos he makes, of so many different things that are fucking wrong and just basically just fucking offensive so many different people is fucking stupid but anyway as i say please leave a like please share it if you like it leave some feedback even if you don't like it constructive feedback's always good it's always fun and like yeah remember stay safe stay happy peace